Let's go. Jumbo friends, my name is Khalid. I'll be your guys as safari driver for today. All I ask of you guys is make sure you guys are staying seated, keeping those hands, arms, legs, and feet in the vehicle at all times while the vehicle is moving. Now it looks like we're heading into our first part of our safari. Now this part is actually known as the Tori Forest. And here in this forest, a lot of our animals like to camouflage within their environment. So make sure you guys keep an eye out for any animal you might see today. A lot of these animals actually like playing hide and seek. It looks like we're actually stopped here for a second. I don't know why. But it does look like I see our first animal hiding in the way back behind the trees. Now that animal is actually known as the Akape. And this Akape actually has zebra light stripes on its back. So a lot of people actually like to get these animals confused with being related to the zebra, but they're actually more related to the giraffe. And that's just based off its physical features and attributes, such as its long tongue. I've actually seen one scratch its eyeballs and pick its nose with it. brown guys on top of the hill those are known as the bongo and these tan animals under the bush these are actually known as the greater kudu so these bongos are actually known as the ghosts of the forest and that's because they actually spend most of the time hiding and these greater kudus grew up to be pretty big weighing about 750 pounds and being able to leap eight feet into the air now it looks like we're now heading out of the Tui Forest and into the Safi River, which is our more aquatic part of the reserve. So make sure you guys keep an eye out for any animal you might see today. A lot of these animals like chilling inside the water. I do see our first animal coming up over here to our right. Now these white birds, these are actually known as our pink back pelican. And they actually get their name from the pink coloration they have on their back that actually comes out only during mating season. Actually, the vultures, but they actually don't live here. Uh, 
and actually make this this place their home. <laughs> If you guys can see, but if you guys look down over here to you guys' left, it looks like we have some hippos inside the water. It looks like there's actually two. So these hippos actually spend most of the time in the water. The fun fact, they're actually not that great at swimming. They actually spend most of the time running and walking inside these waters. So if you guys look down over here to you guys' left, Looks like we have some Nile crocodile out right now. Nile, Nile the crocodile. Now these crocodiles grew up to be pretty big, weighing about 500 pounds. And they grew up to be about 16 feet long. Saliva actually helps with the hatching of these eggs. It's also another way to protect these eggs from any predators. It looks like we're heading out of the Safi River and into our more open terrain part of the reserve, which is known as the savanna. Now, unlike the Tory forest where the animals like to camouflage to get away from predators, here in the savannah these animals like to use their speed. It looks like we'll be stopped here for a few seconds. We might have an animal stopped up ahead. over here to our right, this tree is actually known as the Baobab tree. And this tree is actually leafless for up to nine months out of the year. And that's just a way for it to conserve water. And it also acts as a natural water source for animals here in this land. It does look like I see two animals coming up. So these cattle are actually known as the Ancoli cattle. And these little guys, these are actually our small antelopes. They're actually known as the Springbok. So these Springbok actually get their name from being able to spring about six feet into the air, then 13 feet while moving forward. They're actually pretty fast too. They can reach up speeds about 55 to 60 miles per hour. It does look like I also see some giraffes up ahead. These guys love causing traffic jams. So hopefully I don't run into any traffic jams today. And these cattle, these cattle are actually known as the Ancoli cattle. They're also known as the Watuti cattle. So Watuti is actually the tribe that actually discovered these animals. That's where they get their name from. And one of the big features about these cattle are their large horns. So these horns actually act as their personal AC system, allowing blood to circulate throughout their body and dissipating any body heat they may have, keeping them cool within these hot savanna weathers. If you guys look over here to you guys' left, it looks like we have some painted dogs out right now. Painted dogs. Wow. 
They're actually known as the African painted dogs. African painted dogs. So these painted dogs are actually not related to the canine species, but they're actually an offshoot of their own species known as the canid species. And then the giraffe too. Also some giraffe and some zebras out. Over here to our left. So these zebras are actually known as the Hartman's Mountain Zebra. And you could actually distinguish these zebras from other zebras just based off the thick stripes they have on their back. And they got these hooves that are actually adapted to their environment, allowing them to climb mountains within their ecosystem. Now, fun fact, a group of these zebras are actually known as the Dazzle Zebras. known as the eland. And these elands are actually one of the bigger antelopes we have here on the reserve. Reaching about eight feet tall. And they grow up to be anywhere from 900 to 1,000 pounds. Actually, the tallest land animals standing about 20 feet tall. And they actually spend most of their time feeding, so they only get about 30 minutes of sleep per day. Wow, that's it. You like that, Coop? A cool fact: a baby giraffe is already standing about six feet tall. It's also able to stand within its first few hours of living.
Yeah, I do see some elephants over there. Can I get a closer look at them? There's actually like within the environments. There's actually like a dip inside. There's like a like a little hole. So they're they're actually unable to like to jump up. Like if you guys see right here, these are like the tarps. These tarps actually, actually I almost keep them away from like reaching up like onto the safari. Oh, those are actually the wildebeest. And it looks like we have some more elephants over here to our left. Yeah, right up here at the top. Yeah. animals right over here to our left. These are actually the greater flamingo. <laughs> so when they hatch, these flamingo are actually not hatch pink, but they're actually hatch gray. So they actually get their pink coloring from eating these brine shrimp that contain beta carotene. And these beta carotene is actually the reasoning for their pink coloring. A fun fact, a group of these flamingos are actually known as a flamboyance of flamingos. And I think you guys can see the elephant right over here to our left. It looks like we're heading into the eastern part of our savannah. I like to call this the home of the white rhino, so make sure you guys keep an eye out for any white rhino we might see today. see a cheetah. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see, but if you guys look over here to your guys' left, on the way back, under the tree, let's see if I get a, a cheetah. It looks like she's sleeping right now. These shields are actually the fastest land animals, reaching up to 60 speed, 60 miles per hour in up to three seconds. Now if one of those escapes, unfortunately we've been able to outrun it because this bus only goes about eight miles an hour.
over here to guys' right. Looks like we see an ostrich. Now, these ostriches are actually the tallest birds, standing about eight feet tall. They can run pretty fast too. Up to speeds about 40 miles per hour. And they got these big wings, but unfortunately they're unable to fly. They actually use these wings as a way to stabilize themselves when running fast speeds. And it looks like I do see a lion sleeping on top of these rocks right over here to our left. Looks like it's actually one of our male lions. Now these lions are actually nocturnal hunters, meaning they only hunt at night. So they get about 16 to 20 hours of sleep per day. Oh, these are our warhogs. Yeah. Over here to our left. These are actually our warhog burrows. This is where our warhogs actually like to sleep. These warhogs are pretty amazing animals. They got these sharp tusks that can grow up to be about two feet long. And they actually use these tusks as a way to protect themselves from any predators. And these guys are pretty pretty small too, but they're actually pretty fast. They can run up to speeds about 35 miles per hour. if the warning left us out any animals today. Yeah. It looks like he actually left us out some goats. These are actually known as the Nigerian dwarf goats. They're actually used as a source of income for our farmers back home in Africa. So with the produce goat cheese and milk that these goats produce, farmers actually like to sell them to other villagers as a way to make a living. Thank you guys again for joining me. Thank you. But I want to encourage you guys to do this one thing I like to do back at home. I like to call it the three R's, which is reduce, reuse, recycle. By doing this, we're actually helping the animals and their environment. It's also what helps to keep reserves like this alive. Giving a home to any animal going endangered in the wild. If you guys do plan to stay here in the Animal Kingdom, I want to encourage you guys to go visit the other animals we have. One of my favorite places to go is Gorilla Falls. Another one is Rafiki's Planet Watch. They actually got a pet and zoo there, so you guys can go pet the animals. Or if you guys just want to chill with the family for the rest of the day, I want to encourage you guys to go visit one of my favorite live shows here in Animal Kingdom, which is called Festival of the Lion King. It's actually showing every hour on the hour until 5 o'clock. Now here in Harambe, we don't like to say goodbye, but we like to say kwaharini, which means go well. So go well, friends. Again, I want to thank you guys again for joining me. My name is Khalid. 